Okay, kids, we're back. Where are you? We're gonna make us some hash browns today. This one's for Sarah. Make sure we're getting now that in there. Yeah, that's where we want it. Over here somewhere. All right. My copy. So, can we see the pan properly? Kind of. Not really. Yeah, it's all right. All right. So. We need a tater, washed up. Maybe take these little gross parts off. Ew, who wants that, right? Yuck. And that's pretty good. Good enough. All right. Watch. These are dangerous. They will take your fingers and destroy them. You'll have little pieces of finger in your in your food and red little bits everywhere. <laughs> so be careful. Now, what I like to do with a potato. Because it is, if you're grating all the way down and you get this little nub at the very end, it's really, really hard to grate. But if you take all the peel off, then it gets really slippery and dangerous. So you got to be very, very, very careful. But it does not do that other thing where you get a little nub. And you don't want to make your fingers into a little nub either. So that's good. Good enough. All right. I will sometimes put onion on there too, maybe uh, garlic or something if I want to on the on the smaller one. But uh, right now we're just gonna throw some taters in. But I think before we get some taters in the pan, we need some grease in the pan. And to do that, this is probably the best way to do it. We're just gonna cook some bacon. That is a good reason to make some bacon. There wasn't enough grease in the pan. All right, that's good. Little, little wash up stations over here. You don't see me washing my hands. I wanted to talk about the last video. I uh, I noticed I did get some cr cross contamination there when I was doing the uh, burgers and the cheese and the onions and the lettuce all on the same board. What I should have done was uh, I had a plate done my meatballs on there and then smashed them in the pan because it was me it doesn't matter uh if it was uh like a family or if it was for like a, a restaurant where there's a hundred people eating or a thousand people eating you would never do that never uh some people's systems are a lot weaker than others too so you really got to be careful but me i'm good it's not gonna hurt me um I will try and be careful of that from the, in the future because I used to have really good kitchen habits and I should probably get back to them. When you store meat in the freeze in the fridge, keep it below the uh, vegetables because if the meat drips on the vegetables, that's, they're gross, they're gone. But if the meat puddles in the bottom of the fridge, you just have a gross mess. Um, this will work. Yeah, that's freezing up the pan nicely. That's what you want to do. It also has a lot of flavor. Uh, you know, fat is flavor, and this is smoked fat. So, I mean, what's more flavorful than smoked fat? I love it. That'll be a very good little breakfast. I just have a plate handy. I can put stuff on it. Yeah, like I said, I should have put the burger uh, meat on the on the plate and then done it, and then I wouldn't have that cross contamination. And I could have chucked the plate into the sink or into the dishwasher, which is running right now, and you can't even hear it. It's such a good little dishwasher, I love it. Okay, now I'm just wait for that bacon to finish up. I'll show you another thing. I have uh, eggs, but they're my eggs. They came from our chickens out back. And since it's still winter, sometimes I'll get one that froze outside and then comes in and sits in here for, you know, a few days. So I always check them and make sure that they're not rotten. Because a frozen egg goes rotten like, boo, quick. Quick, quick. All right. Uh, I bet you this one's fine. Yeah, it is. Good. All right. Let's 
good. Bacon's almost done. Benzo crispy you want it. I like it kind of somewhere in the middle. I still like it to be fatty, chewy, uh, you know, but I like it crunchy on the edges and whatever. Everybody likes it a little different. Some people like it right black. Some people like it barely even cooked at all, just warmed up. I don't really like it slimy myself, so I don't do that. But I'll, I'll, I'll have it a little bit, uh, a little chewy or something, you know. Good stuff. Taters are ready. Now, uh, it's about one potato per person. Uh, it depends on the size of the potatoes, obviously. And you can't do these very well with red potatoes. You really want to get the russets or the table potatoes because uh, they have more starch in them and they'll stick together where the red potatoes will not. You'll have a big pain trying to get them to stick together and have any kind of patty that kind of get loose in there. You can make your uh, shoestring fries with the red potatoes. That would probably re work really well. Flavor of some hickory or something like that. Yeah, these are, uh, these are good now. Huh? That looks yummy. I'd eat it. Now we got a little uh, bacon grease in the pan. And I'm just going to put these right in there. Yeah. And that bacon grease will spit at you, so you got to be careful. And if you're gonna, if there's a, like a, a deep, I'll show you in a, maybe in a deep frying video if we use a pan. If we have a lot of oil in there, that's uh, hazardous, obviously, you can catch fire, but you have to be very careful not to swap it on yourself, because when you put things like a piece of fish or a chicken, and you put it in like this, and it goes, and it slops that oil on you, woo! So you always put it in like this, and fold it down so that if, it's, if it slops, you don't want it to. It goes that way. These cast iron pans are the best things to cook in on the planet. And you don't really wash them. You do. You clean them. You, you don't wash them. Because if you use soap, it just takes the oils out of the pan and then everything sticks. So, you don't use soap. You get it hot. You get some water in there. You boil it. Scrape it out. It's good. You know, like if there was any bacteria in that pan, when once it hits 300, 400 degrees, it's gone. There ain't no bacteria in there anymore. So, yeah. Well, now you can kind of see. It, uh, you can see the potatoes on top are kind of, uh, they're not clear. These ones here are turning clear, kind of, not clear, but translucent. If you look at them. And the ones on top are not. The ones on top are not done. Oh, there's some steam. And the ones in the bottom are starting to actually get cooked. So, you want to wait a little while longer than that. Yeah, wait a little longer and then we'll make sure we get a little good browning on the bottom and then we'll flip that over. We'll probably cut it out, flip it and let her go on the other side. A little shake of salt or something doesn't hurt it. These are, uh, this is on a really fine grind. I'm not putting tons of salt on. Maybe a little pepper, but you're going to put a little pepper on when you're done too, right? So It's good. In there. Over here. All right. Looking good. Mm -hmm. Good coffee. That again is getting there, starting cooking. You're gonna taste the bacon fat in there for sure. I got a little friend coming to see if I dropped anything. Hey, Sansa. Sansa, did I drop something? <laughs> He's always the only hero. I know. Go lay down. Eggs from the hen house. Fresh eggs, farm fresh. 
Awesome. My sister, I had this, I was using this cup at my sister's house. Auntie Cher. And when I left, it was still in my van when I got home. So I said, well, I, Cheryl, I still have your uh, coffee cup. She says, oh, which one? And I explained it and she figured it out. Oh, the bonds we have are everlasting. Isn't that special, you know? So it's my cup now. And then I broke the handle off. <laughs> so I had to glue that back on. Anyway. Good stuff. That looks stable, hey? A little rock into the camera there. That's my uh, special balancing setup there I got going on. All right, let's flip this thing over. And I know I'm not as uh, advanced as some of the other guys that do cooking shows because they got their kids in here filming, but it's COVID, so my kids are not here. Let's see. I think I can flip the whole thing? Since it's... Oh, I just broke. Never mind. Let's just flip it in parts. Hmm. Good enough. Now we'll let that side cook. Now it looks like this. That's what you want, right? You see that nice crispy potato on there. That's the stuff. A little bacon, holy. Oh, look at that, I've already got the stove messy. I just cleaned the darn stove. Seconds before I turned and hit play on, or hit record on this thing. But, you know, nothing lasts. Here comes Lexi. Hi, sweet dog. I can pet you guys for a second. How are you girls doing? How are you girls doing? What did you find? Did you find any food to find on the floor? Did you find any food to find on the floor? You girls are silly. Go lay down. I'm gonna wash my hands. Go lay down. Go play. Okay, those are probably getting close. I could give them a little... Well, I got some olive oil. We'll give them a squirt of that. That'll be good. Okay. Let's have to go to the side. Clean up a bit here. I can wipe that down. It's always good to try and clean while you're cooking. Clean before, clean during, clean after. My wife is going to laugh at me for saying that. But anyway. I'm terrible. Terrible. Alright. These are probably cooked. See, we cooked it most of the way the first side. And then we flip it and then it just kind of cooks it. That'll be They're nice. Like, they come out a bit different every time. They could be more cooked. They could be, you know, they could have more grease, so they're more deep fried. They, there's, I like putting uh, Italian spices in them sometimes, or just uh, oregano, or, or just basil, or just garlic. Garlic powder. Ooh. Onion powder's good. Okay. Hands clean. Ready for uh, these things? Eggs. Oh, yeah, and that's cute. In that video, I was cutting the onion and I said, you can eat this onion just like an onion. What I meant to say was you could eat it like an apple. Like they're really sweet. I'm a little, uh, a little off my game there. So, okay, two eggs in the pan. Crack them one at a time, put them in there both at once. It doesn't matter. Uh, I like to put them along the edge. This time they're both in the middle because I, you know, but I'm only doing two. 
quite often I'm doing four eggs. So. We will get, like, I like to let them cook a little bit. And then I'll get some of the water. You don't need very much. I put a little water in the top of the pan. I like to let those cook through a little bit. Sometimes I'll even break this, uh, the whites a bit. Not the yolk, but just the whites. Just so they can get a little cooked in there. Anytime. I could have done it already. Put the water in. Put the lid on. Oop, let it sit. That tall lid is not as good. You want something flat would be better or even dipped in a little bit. Because what you're doing is steaming the tops of the eggs. It's called basting. So these are basted eggs. If you go to A&W and order eggs and you say basted eggs, this is what you're going to get. They uh, put them on the grill and then they put a lid over them. But uh, with, in this way, you'd really want a flat lid. I have one somewhere, but anyway. Because uh, it keeps the steam down with the eggs. So this might take a little longer. I might even have to do it again. But uh, that's okay. Oh, that's perfect. They're done. They are done. Look at that. Woo. Beautiful. If I can get them out of the pan without wrecking them. <laughs> there's one. And there's one. And here's my pan scrapers. Oh, Sands is back. And there's my breakfast. Oop. Shut that off. Alright, now. Have a look at it. It's got some, uh, let's get a fork here. Alright. Have a look here. Oh, perfection. Look at that. I'm going to pull the potato out from underneath. Oh, yeah. How's that? Okay, let's get some of these uh, hash browns here. There we go. Oh, lost them. How's that look? Focus. There we go. Yummy, 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 yummy. Oh, that's good. Don't talk with your mouth full. Mmm. The bacon. You can taste that. Oh, it's delicious. The bacon grease in there. Cooked them potatoes. Just perfect. I'm gonna try a little. Ooh. See, it's a little chewy, a little crunchy. Excellent. Don't talk with your mouthful. I love you guys. We'll see you next time. I'm gonna go have some breakfast.